Hello, welcome to the video tutorial for an overview of the OSDAC software. This video covers the basic functionalities and modules in OSDAC. By now, you must have successfully installed OSDAC in your system. The user interface of OSDAC for Linux as well as for Windows operating system is the same. This tutorial is recorded in Windows 10 operating system. By the end of this video, you will be acquainted with the basics of the OSDAG interface. OSDAG can be launched from its desktop icon or from the start menu. After launching it, the OSDAG home screen will open. OSDAG has 10 basic modules which we can explore using the tabs on the left. Each of these modules has several subsections. You can choose the desired module and its subtypes by simply clicking on it or by pressing the assigned shortcut key. The assigned shortcut keys can be viewed by pointing the cursor at the desired tab. For example, press Ctrl Shift C to open the connection module. Currently, we will look at the connection module since rest of the modules are under development. Under the connection module, we find three subsections, the shear connection, the moment connection and the truss connection. By default, the shear connection tab is active. Here we can see the available shear connection modules. Each of these shear connection has multiple connectivity options which can be explored using the graphical user interface. Let us now explore the design window for the fin plate shear connection module. For this, choose the specific connection by clicking on the radio button or by clicking on the image or by pressing the assigned shortcut key shift F. Next, click start at the bottom or just press enter. A new window will pop up asking you to select a workspace directory for the current design. During the installation, a directory named OSDAC workspace has been created by the user. You may also navigate to any other existing directory of your choice or create a new directory as the workspace. Note that all the files related to the current connection design such as the design report, the 2D drawings and the CAD model etc. will be saved in this directory. Click select folder to proceed. The design window for the fin plate connection will open. The window is divided into four parts along with a menu bar at the top. On the left we have the input dock and on the right we have the output dock. These can be undocked by double clicking and moving across the window. These docks can also be accessed by clicking on the respective dock buttons in the quick access bar or from the view menu. The input dock consists of multiple fields to enter the design values for the connecting member, the factored shear load, bolt, plate and weld. In the middle, 
we have the graphics window. This window displays the 3D model of a connection if and only if the trial design is safe. Navigation inside the graphics window is similar to major commercial CAD software. At the top of the graphics window, we have a quick access bar which gives options for input and output docs to view the 2D drawings of a design connection and to view the 3D CAD model of the designed module or the individual components of a connection such as beam, column and fin plate. At the bottom we have the message window. This window displays the status of each logical action committed in OSDAG. The message window aids the design process by displaying a log of warnings and errors, if any, in the design inputs. It also gives suggestions to arrive at a safe design. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize the video. In this tutorial, we have covered the following points. Firstly, we learned how to start designing a connection. Secondly, we looked at the graphical user interface of OSDAG. In the GOI, we briefly discussed about the input dock, output dock, graphics window, quick access bar, and the message box. In the next video, let us look at a simple fin plate design example to illustrate the functionalities of OSDAG. Thank you.